by changing the overnight rate. The Bank of Canada actually controls the amount of money available in the economy. This is the main tool that the bank uses for its monetary policy. Think of the overnight rate like it was any other interest rate. So when mortgage interest rates go up, what do people do? They buy fewer houses, right? When mortgage interest rates go down, what do people do? They buy more houses, right? We'll now think of the overnight rate as the interest rates that the banks have to pay when they borrow money, but in this case, they borrow that money from the bank of all banks. Yes, you got it. It's from the Bank of Canada. Now, when the Bank of Canada wants to help the economy get out of a recession, it will lower the overnight rate. This leads the banks to borrow more from it. The amount of money in the economy grows, and this leads the banks to lower their interest rates on mortgages and car loans, for instance. Okay so far? Well, all these purchases that consumers are now making will help the economy pick up steam and pull it out of its recession. So remember, a lower overnight rate leads to an increase in economic activity. Sometimes, the bank may want the economy to slow down a bit. Well, again, the operation is almost the same but in reverse. Good so far? The bank will increase the overnight rate, and this leads to reduced spending and slower economic growth.